Logan Paul has finally returned, and it's safe to say it's probably one of his worst ideas yet. I'm not mentioning his comeback vlog, as honestly, I don't really care for it at all. I think the comeback video was, well, over the top, as you'd expect, and well, Things were said that didn't need to be said. He added to drama that just didn't need mentioning. He caused even more shit with KSI, which is fair enough, I suppose. It's just him acting in the most baby-like manner, which is Logan Paul all over, really. If you don't believe me, here's his actual response to him being sued by a company for $4 million over his clothing brand. Um, Maverick, actually, my clothing line. Okay, uh, how do I say this? We are being threatened to be sued for $4 million. It's a lot of money, a lot of money. I can't really say too much about it right now. My lawyer said I can't. That's a vlog for another day, but for the person who's threatening to sue us, tell you what, I'm not gonna give you $4 million, but I will send you a free pair of Maverick joggers. Lydia, make it happen. Logan's most recent vlog is the vlog that I have issues with. It starts the vlog off with me hoping that he's gonna be talking about the KSI fight with his father and his brother Jake. But no, I get clickbaited again by a poor brother. I'll Let's whip go. his ass. Go, of course, he's go. not gonna like the idea that he's getting beat up by an old guy. <laughs> Don't even know why I'm expecting to get past the 10 second mark without the <laughs> noise from Jake Paul's vlog. <laughs> Huh? Run! Run! All the shitty music that Logan Paul plays. I what does he even do for his intros? Who the fuck cares? <laughs> wow. <laughs> so funny, man. The epic comedy breaking plates. I've never really understood the plate mean, to be honest with you. But I'll be honest, it definitely peaks at one of the most unfunny running jokes on YouTube today. And then, no! <laughs> no. I've just been taking the fattest L's lately. Why? Go get him, Lydia. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we've gone from filming a dead guy to now filming two dead rats and a dead fish. Pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Um, now... We're tasing dead rats. Bare hands. Yeah, you're right. Here, no rat comes into my house without oh getting tased. Oh my god! <laughs> and we're giving dying fish CPR by taking them out of the water and pushing on their poor bodies. I'm saying <laughs> We gotta get him, bro. He's still breathing. Dude, that's Goldilocks. He's still breathing. Yo, I feel like putting him on land uh, is not. What do I do? No. CPR? No, dude, I think no, no, no. Putting him back. Is worse. Put him back in the water. Okay, you got it. What next, though? What's next for Logan Paul? He's just gonna jump in the water with him and start ah, swimming with ah, them like ah, he's doing there. Ah, Great. Time to teach some fish how to swim. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. He never, never ceases to obey me. Alright, so I read a lot of comments from this fish thing, and a lot of people are calling it borderline animal abuse. I'll be fair to them. It kind of almost is, but it's not. It's... it's just fucked. I mean, why would you pull a fish out and pretend to give it CPR? Oh, that's right, because it's a running meme on your channel, just like the breaking plates meme. But instead it's, oh, I'm gonna give CPR to my dog, guys, uh, Oh no, guys, I'm gonna give CPR to my fish, uh, It's... What next? His power will be fucking dead and he'll be giving that CPR neck. I'm genuinely really surprised and died to the dead body. He just got to CPR, bro. That would have been <laughs> pinnacle of comedy then. Three, two, one. Now, I'm gonna give this section of the video to Vanilla Rice. He's gonna be going on about the rest of the vlog and some other parts that, and he's gonna, he's gonna go over some parts of the vlog that I may or may not have missed. And yeah, he's gonna give his opinion on it. So that, let's get to that half of the video. Let's get to that part of the video. Yeah, yeah, clap your hands up in the air if you wanna sink. 
Hello everyone, and welcome to my section of the video. This is my section. Hello, welcome to my uh, humble abode. This is my channel. No, it's not. And why am I doing such dead jokes? This isn't a good first impression for a new audience, is it? Anyway, Henry asked me, or, or Blues Dank, if you want to call him that. He asked me, uh, where do you think Logan will end up going? Or ending up, or where do you think, what, what's the direction of Logan Paul? And personally, I think uh, he's not going to go anywhere better. I reckon he's just going to come full circle. He's literally just going to keep doing seasons and seasons of vlogs. He might get a new house. It might be a bit bigger. He might get a bit more annoying. And then he'll smash a few more plates. He'll come full circle all the way to, uh, I don't know, a different Asian country. And then film three dead people. And that'll be the season 14 finale of his vlog. And then he'll move on to se season 15. In which he'll move on to worse things. Such as, um, I don't know, mass genocide. Because he did so he wanted to go to North Korea so that could be uh, next on the agenda to uh... yeah so I just realized throughout this whole thing uh, this would probably get Henry or Blue's Dank demonetized and I don't really want to do that because I'd feel proper bad and then posting it on YouTube getting a few million views why is my leg up like that why am I chatting shit oh no I'm not allowed to swear um, uh, yeah so him and his brother they're gonna rule over the world and um, they're just gonna be smashing plates on the haters. Uh, I honestly don't. I don't expect any change. Seriously, I do not expect any change from Logan Paul. I reckon he'll mess up again. Apologize. Keep doing like the normal thing. I don't know how he's gonna change it up. I reckon in the future, maybe uh, like sort of political climates might change, and um, people might not want the sort of family-friendly content, and he might change. Maybe add a few more swear words because I reckon that's gonna go in full circle as well. Like you know, the sort of climate of having to be PC. I reckon that's going to go and change again um, or just revert back to how YouTube was where you could upload whatever the hell you wanted like Filthy Frank days I reckon it's going to go back to that I don't know how he comes back to the happy-go-lucky Logan if he's filmed a dead person got so much flack for it in the media and he's acting like nothing ever happened it's probably a good move because his fans are lapping it up. He's not really getting much hate anymore it's mental he's literally just got away with it scot-free I wish I could do that. Uh, I'm going to do that next. I think I'm going to grow. I'm going to become a vlogger, release a few more tunes. Fuck a rusky hoe, I don't even know a name, bitch. If you want to check out uh, Yeet, I'm sure uh, I'll put that in. It's a really good tune by my boy band, Com Hampton. Thank you guys for watching. Off back to Henry? I don't know. Or am I the end of the video? I, wherever I am, goodbye. Follow me on Twitter. Thank you very much for watching. Unfortunately, my camera has just like completely. Unfortunately, my camera is like. Unfortunately, my camera is like completely killed itself. And pardon the pun. And I can't actually use it right now. So I'm using my webcam, uh, which means I can do this. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. I do have a Patreon in the link below if you want to check that out and financially support the dude. This dude right here. Thank you very much for watching. Peace.